Chapter 1, Young Youth Zhou Feng Morning. Just as the sky lit up, while the whole of Sunfeather City was still hidden in the darkness before dawn. Sunfeather City, Zhou Family Clan. Flash. A young juvenile reacted on instinct, threw off his warm, comfortable covers, jumped up from his bed and put his clothes on. All of this was done in one breath. At this time most of the family sect disciples and even some of the servants, still slept. This young person was around 13 to 14 years of age, with a slim body and a childish face. He wasn't super handsome, but he was still good looking. Especially his eyes, they were clear and full of fighting will. Just a bit longer and I can reach the second rank of the martial path, then I'll have all those other Zhou family sect disciples shut up. This young person's name was Zhou Feng. Half a year ago, he came from the Greenleaf Village Zhou family, side branch family, to the Sun Feather Zhou family sect, relying on his superb performance. At the Greenleaf branch, he was a genius for his age and was the first to reach the first rank of the martial pathway. From then on, he left a life of mortals and stepped into the gateway of cultivation. At that time, Every old person in the village praised him for his talent, saying his future could not be measured. His family sect, parents, they all had high hopes for him. However, only Zhou Feng knew how many more times the effort he put in compared to his peers, allowing him to become the genius of Greenleaf Village. Greenleaf Village family was one of the main Zhou family sect's side branch. Every five years, there would be two people recommended into the main sect. The person who came with Zhou Feng was Zhou Zhu, a girl who reached the first rank of the martial pathway only two months after him. After leaving Greenleaf Village, Zhou Feng was full of fighting will, determined to go to the main Zhou family sect and show off his skills. However, only after he went to the main Zhou family sect did he realize that he was just a frog at the bottom of a well. In terms of population, Greenleaf Village Zhou family only had 100 people with only seven to eight people around his own age. At the main Zhou family however, there were tens of thousands of people, and they controlled large portions of land, mines and resources. Compared to the Zhou family of Greenleaf Village, this family was over a 100 times larger. In the side branch in Greenleaf Village, he was considered a talent, even a genius for some. Here at the Zhou sect however, he was considered to be one of the lowest level of cultivators for his age, a lowly outer disciple. In the Zhou sect, there were many youths his age who had broken through to the second rank of the martial path. There were even some who were talented, having broken into the third rank. And according to some rumors, some of the family's geniuses had already broken through to the fourth rank. Confronted with this reality, Zhou Feng started to realize that he was nothing compared to them. He was innocently ignorant and small in comparison. Also, Zhou Zhu, the beautiful girl who came with him from Greenleaf Village, she slowly became distant from him after entering the Zhou sect. She also interacted more and more with one of the top three disciples amongst the outer disciples. Looking back, when Zhou Zhu was still at Greenleaf Village, she looked up to him in awe and even adored him. However, at that time, Zhou Feng only focused on cultivating and ignored her. From then on, he became more and more desperate and put in more effort into his cultivation after feeling despair. He made an oath, that he would take a spot at the top at Sunfeather City in the Zhou sect. Otherwise, he would never go back to Greenleaf Village. After washing up, Zhou Feng took a deep breath and then ran towards the family sex martial arts field. Ha! Ha! Zhou Feng took a half step with both fists carrying the wind, and practiced the Zhou sex flaming metal fists. Flaming metal fists was only a core martial art, but Zhou Feng practiced it carefully, polishing it beautifully. In layman's terms, normal martial arts were put into five categories, core, low, middle, high, and peak. Core martial arts, the lowest of martial arts, were used to strengthen one's body and blood, the damage dealt by them was very restricted. Normally, the higher the rank of a martial art, the higher the damage dealt by it would be and the better it would be for cultivating. However, with Zhou Feng's side branch identity, 
as well as having no exceptional talent, it was very hard for him to learn martial arts of a higher rank. I have been staying at the first rank of the martial path for a long time. However, to break through to the second rank, I still lack some time. After practicing for a while, Zhou Feng's face was raining with sweat, and his breathing rate was quick. Zhou Feng's talent wasn't considered bad, the reason why he couldn't catch up to the others was because he didn't have martial skills of a higher rank. He also wasn't rich, like the main family disciples who could buy precious pills to increase their cultivation speed. Some say a few disciples of the Zhou sect would use these precious pills from birth to strengthen their bodies. Before reaching 10 years of age, they had already broken through the first rank of the martial path, gaining a certain advantage compared to others. At the starting line, Zhou Feng was already separated too far from them. Half an hour later, the sun slowly rose into view. At the martial arts field, some of the Zhou sect disciples slowly but steadily came, and some laughed and played with one another. However, when their visions landed on Zhou Feng, their eyes suddenly became cold, and some even showed disdain. This attitude wasn't just pointed at Zhou Feng alone. The Zhou sect disciples looked down upon everyone who came from the side branches. In front of those who came from the side branches, they felt a certain amount of power. When Zhou Feng was lost in his thoughts, a sound came whistling from this back, little broomstick. Stop there. Pa. A hand as strong as metal hit him hard on the shoulder. It's you. Zhou Feng was caught off balance and almost fell. Luckily, his core skills were good so he steadied himself. The guy who came was a youth dressed in black. His body was fit and muscular, and he had thick eyebrows. His eyes had a tinge of playfulness inside of them as he looked down upon Zhou Feng who had just studied himself. Zhou Kun. What is the meaning of this? Zhou Feng had a face full of anger and wanted to hit Zhou Kun. When Zhou Feng first came to the Zhou sect, the two of them had a little conflict. This was because Zhou Kun was mocking those who came from the side branches and Zhou Feng was dissatisfied with him. Zhou Kun was a person who took revenge at every possible opportunity. And from then on, when he found Zhou Feng he would humiliate him in every way. Zhou Kun. With your strength, if you cannot take this side branch disciple in 10 moves, then it would not be cool. 10 moves? Zhou Kun is already at the peak of the second rank of the martial path, to fight that kid, I think 3 moves will be enough. 3 moves? If they fight straight on, it will not be that easy. The disciples nearby said, ready to watch the show. Most people did not care about what happened, so they spoke without restraint. Three moves? Ha ha ha. Zhou Kun raised his head and laughed with a look of disdain on his face, You are all looking down on me, Zhou Kun. To beat this kid, I will only need one move. Only need one move. The disciples who were present had looks of shock on their faces. One move? Zhou Feng's eyebrows crunched up and his face changed. The anger in his heart also rose again. He and Zhou Kun only had one rank and difference between them. If Zhou Kun did well, maybe he could win in three moves. That was true. However, just one move. This was a humiliation. Facing Zhou Kun's provocative eyes, Zhou Feng calmed down soon and thought, I cannot fall into this trap. Even if I live through this one move, he will still humiliate me after. Having been at the Zhou sect for half a year, Zhou Feng had been beaten a few times and had learned to bear with it. I am quite tired from training today. Let me rest a few days, and then I will fight you. Zhou Feng's face was expressionless and he then left without another word. His performance gave Zhou Kun who was the same age, a pause. Okay, kiddo, I will let you off the hook today, but the next time we see each other, do not forget about today's one move battle. Zhou Kun's eyes gave off a cold and cunning feel. One move battle. Zhou Feng's heart sped up once more, and thought, it looks like Zhou Kun isn't going letting me off the hook. I must reach the second rank of the martial path soon. Only then can I fight Zhou Kun. Zhou Feng's heart tensed up once more. After leaving the martial arts field, Zhou Feng returned home. Since Zhou Feng managed to enter the Zhou main family sect, his parents also gained a bit of his fame and entered the Zhou sect. 
This was supposed to be his parents' fame. Zhou Feng however only felt ashamed because his performance at the Zhou sect might make his parents feel disappointed. He might also disappoint those of the older generation who had high expectations of him at the village. I am back. A deep, calm man walked out. It was Zhou Feng's father. Zhou Tian Yang. Fenger, come quick and have some food. This was his mother, Zhou Shi, who had a caring look on her face as she brought out some food from the kitchen. Every time Zhou Feng came home, he was able to feel the warmth and love here. Thanks mom. This tastes so good. Zhou Feng mumbled through his mouth, which was full of food. When they ate, Zhou Tian Yang and Zhou Shi didn't speak, as if there was something on their mind. Father, mother, what are you? Zhou Feng saw that his parents had solemn expressions and looked as if they had something to say. Zhou Tian Yang and Zhou Shi looked at one another, and then they took a long sigh. Let me say it. Just not long ago, the sex higher level sent some people over with a letter. Zhou Tian Yang paused for a moment. The sex higher level. Zhou Feng didn't understand. Zhou Tian Yang had a solemn face and said, The sect has now made some new rules. If the side branches youths cannot break through to the second rank, they will have no right to participate in the family sparring contest. If, before the age of 15, they cannot reach the third rank, they will be sent back to their branches. What? Zhou Feng's heart stopped for a second and his face changed dramatically. The family sparring competition was where all the youths fought to show off their skills. The ones who won would get rich rewards and have a chance to become an inner disciple, who would be fully trained by the family. Thus, the family sparring competition was a chance to turn into a dragon from a fish for the outer disciples. If they lost the chance to enter, it was considered to be the same as being thrown away by the sect. And the rule that made Zhou Feng's heart cold was the last one, before the age of 15, those who are not able to achieve the third rank of the martial path, will be sent back to the branch families. No, no, this cannot be true. Zhou Feng's voice was soft, and both his hands clenched together. He and his parents wouldn't have the face to be sent back to the Greenleaf village. This rule is only set towards the side branch disciples. His mother Zhou Qi had a look of dissatisfaction on her face. Mother, father, it is okay. I will train even harder and reach the second rank of the martial path before the family sparring competition. Zhou Feng clenched his teeth and said while trembling. There are still two months left, and to register, you need to sign up a month earlier. To break through to the second rank in a month is probably not easy. Zhou Tiantang shook his head. Only a month's time? Zhou Feng's eyes were dim as if he fell into darkness. If there were two months left and he doubled his efforts, there was a 20-30% to 30 chance of success. To break through in a month however, he didn't have any confidence at all. After staying silent for a long time, Zhou Xi wiped the corner of her eyes and spoke softly, Finger, it doesn't matter if you fail. You still make us proud. The most that will happen is us returning to Greenleaf Village and living a normal life. Yeah. If we return to Greenleaf Village, you will still be the most talented one there, I would rather have you be the head of a chicken than the tail of a phoenix. Zhou Tian Yang nodded his head in agreement. Being parents, they would rather have their children be safe, even if their lives would be normal. Return to Greenleaf Village? No. Zhou Feng shook his head furiously, I am not going back to Greenleaf Village to lead a normal life. He once swore an oath. To perform well? earn a spot in the Zhou sect and in Sunfeather City, and own his own land. His heart yearned towards the ninth rank of the martial path in the land that lies beyond in the outer world. How could I be willing to lose and return in this manner? Zhou Feng restrained himself from crying, screamed, and merely ran out of the house. Finger! Don't be stubborn! His parents called out. Boom! Suddenly, Thunder and lightning howled in the sky and it started raining outside. Zhou Feng kept the despair in his heart, howled back at the sky and ran into the rain. At this time, the lightning shone everywhere, making Zhou Feng's face light up. Not good. Zhou Feng felt a pressure bearing towards him, and so, 
As he looked up he was shocked by what he saw. From birth, he had never seen such lightning, closely packed together, like a spider's web. At that short moment, the lightning above seemed to be under some kind of power, which caused the dimension to crack. She e e e e e dash 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 dash. A black streak came from outer space. It passed through the lightning and caused beautiful ripples to appear that seemed like a dream. It was impossible to imagine what that black line was, it was even able to ignore the power of lightning. Pa! Pa! Zhou Feng felt his feet go numb, his hair and clothes turn black, and thunder rang in his ears non-stop. The whole world suddenly went dead silent. This is. His face was white, looking down at his feet he saw a weird black marble, like an eyeball. It was this item that caused the black line. Bing! Bing! The eye-like marble seemed like it had life, giving off a thumping sound as it stared Zhou Feng right in the eye. However, the eyeball's thumping seemed to thump in sync with his own heart, giving Zhou Feng a friendly feeling. At this moment, he felt some kind of summoning. Does this item have life? He held his breath, ready for any signs of danger. However, before he could move. Poom! The eyeball-like marble turned into an afterimage as it shot into Zhou Feng's left eye. Ah! Zhou Feng screamed and then fainted. Before he fainted, he only had one thought, I'm screwed. My eye has been blinded. Chapter 2, The Battle of One Move Not knowing how much time had passed, Zhou Feng started to regain his consciousness, but he was not able to feel his body. The only thing he felt was the pain coming from his left eye. Left eye? Zhou Feng turned cold, and suddenly remembered what happened. Before he fainted, the weird eyeball-shaped marble stabbed straight into his left eye. If there wasn't any accidents, my left eye might have been blinded and can probably be compared with those ugly and berserk one-eyed dragons. When he thought up to here, Zhou Feng had the urge to cry. Ba, 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 ba. There was a sound similar to that of a heartbeat, giving off a familiar and kind feel, resonating from the left eye, which had been punctured. Shush! He thought about his left eye and in that moment, his consciousness merged with his left eye. Boom! His brain suddenly shook and Zhou Feng consciousness went into a pitch black dimension. This place is... Zhou Feng had fear for the unknown, and seeing such a weird place was completely outside of his knowledge. His consciousness was attracted by the faint green light given off from the center of the pitch black place. That faint green light seemed so mysterious, and infinitely deep. It slowly spun, as if it had survived from the ancient times till now, giving people both the feeling of life and eternity. Zhou Feng consciousness was fully absorbed by it and was so absorbed that he would not awaken, not until the sky turned old or when the dimension was destroyed. The ancient is broken, and the ancient god slain will turn into a trillion dust. The sigh that came with it seemed so ancient and sad. It reverberated around the pitch black area, as if it came from the ancient times itself. Who's there? Zhou Feng consciousness swayed, and his whole body turned cold. He surveyed the area but could not see anyone. That sound seemed to come from the space itself. There is a soul in the universe that is perfectly in sync with me? Is this destiny? The mysterious voice said to itself. Who's there sneaking around? Zhou Feng suppressed his fear and shouted. To continue my bloodline of the eye, you will rule everyone, control every race. You lucky youngster, do not disappoint me. The pitch black area suddenly poured out an ancient consciousness which then faded away. Everything remained calm. Ha! Zhou Feng took a long breath, but before he could think more, a painful feeling came from his left eye. Within the room. The burning sun came through the window. Ah! My eye! Zhou Feng screamed and clutched his left eye which was now swollen red and burned with pain. At this time, Zhou Feng suddenly woke back up into reality. This was his room. Zhou Feng laid on the bed, and his body still had charred pieces from when he was struck by lightning. At this time, the pain coming from his left eye made him sweat and toss around in the room. It was good that, as time went, the pain eventually faded away. My eye. 
Zhou Feng had a face full of worry, and slowly loosened the grip around his left eye. He was certain that his left eye could still see the light. However, when his left eye saw the first ray of sunlight, the strong burn in his eye made him squint, but it still made Zhou Feng let out his breath. His left eye eventually adapted to the sunlight and could finally see the outside world. However, the thing that came after made Zhou Feng go into shock. At that moment, the whole world seemed to have become one of tens of thousands of different colors. The vision of his left eye made everything seem perfectly clear and beautiful. Zhou Feng even saw the particles in the air, which certainly wasn't what normal vision could see. He even clearly saw ants on a tree 100 meters away, and the veins on a leaf. What is going on? My left eye can even. Zhou Feng thought about it after the shock passed and revealed some happiness on his face. He was certain that his left eye had undergone a series of changes and was at least 10 times, or more, stronger than the original eye. Zhou Feng took out a mirror and looked at it closely, the left eye's size was the same as before. The only difference was that the cinder of his eye was darker than the original. And when he fully used his left eye, the eyeball would give off a faint glow of green light. These changes, although not very obvious, sped up Zhou Feng's heartbeat. Did. Did that mysterious eye merge with my left eye? Zhou Feng's heart was happy but also worried at the same time. After a while he took a deep breath and walked out his room. Finger, you did not wake up for one day and one night, do not make me feel worried. Zhou Shi saw that her son was all right and was super happy. Mother, I am all right. I might even have gotten lucky from this disaster. Zhou Feng laughed. However, his face soon turned, wait. Mother, did you say? That I was unconscious for one day and one night? Yes, that day you were hit by lightning. But the alchemist said that you were just unconscious. Zhou Shi wiped her eyes and felt scared by what might have happened. When they talked, Zhou Feng's stomach growled, only then did he feel the hunger. Come. I will make you some food to eat. Zhou Shi went to the kitchen and busied around. At this time, Zhou Feng kept on using his left eye to observe everything and felt that his body also went through some changes. The most obvious change was his reaction speed. MMM. When they were eating, Zhou Feng's eyes landed upon a fly. His left eye saw the fly's flying route, he could even differentiate the gender and he also saw the stripes on its wings. Shush. He waved his chopsticks on instinct. Suddenly, the humming stopped. Ha ha ha. Zhou Feng looked at the fly killed by his chopsticks and laughed deep in his heart. That felt good. That felt damn nice. Because of his left eye, Zhou Feng's reaction speed and senses had far surpassed that of normal people. After eating, Zhou Feng felt full of energy so he walked towards the martial arts field. He had a feeling, that the change in his left eye could possibly change his life. His left eye gave off sizzles of heat and after that, also gave off a b b heartbeat sound. He didn't know that as the mysterious eyeball merged with him, his bloodline and body was slowly changing. Martial Arts Field Zhou Feng was the same as normal and started to practice his fist core martial arts. Ha ha ha! Zhou Feng, you're finally here, I thought you'd be a turtle hiding in your shell. A laugh came from the other side of the martial arts field. Damn it! Zhou Feng said damn in his heart and then looked at the muscular Zhou Kun who was taking big strides while coming over. He then remembered the one-move battle with Zhou Kun. With Zhou Kun's laugh, many sect disciples in the martial arts field came gathering around. Looks like it cannot be avoided. Zhou Feng could only walk over. Zhou Feng, get ready. One move. I'll only need one move to make you go down. Zhou Kun's massive body seemed like a tiger and pressured towards Zhou Feng. As soon as his words finished, using a weird stance, his two hands and body contracted, then like a poisonous snake, gave a dark and creepy feeling. Zhou Feng felt a chill, as if he was locked onto by a poisonous snake. Whoa, it is the high ranked martial art 13 changes of the poisonous snake. From the crowd came an excited shout from someone who recognizing Zhou Kun's move. 
high ranked martial art, how is this possible? Most second rank disciples can only go to the martial arts library and get middle rank martial arts, how can Zhou Kun get a high rank one? You might not know this but Zhou Kun's grandfather is one of the sect elders. No wonder Zhou Kun has confidence in winning with one move, it is because he's learned the 13 changes of the poisonous snake. The disciples around the area all felt chilly, even some of those whose cultivation exceeded Zhou Kun gave him a solemn look. It is a high rank martial arts skill. Zhou Feng took a cold breath. At the Zhou sect, disciples under the fourth rank of the martial path could only learn low or middle ranked martial arts. As for Zhou Feng, since he had not even achieved the second rank of the martial path yet, he could not enter the sex martial arts library, so he could not even learn low rank martial arts. 13 Change of the Poisonous Snake was a high rank martial arts skill and the damage dealt by it was way higher compared to low and middle ranked martial arts, not to mention core rank martial arts. At this moment, Zhou Kun's moving hand even gave Zhou Feng a huge pressure, as if he just needed to move and the poisonous snake would attack. No wonder Zhou Kun has confidence to take me down in a single move. Zhou Feng's heart sped up, as he knew that, under normal circumstances, he couldn't take one move from a high rank martial arts skill. And even then, Zhou Kun's cultivation was higher than his own by one rank. Ba ba Under the pressure, Zhou Feng felt his left eye move, this gave him an excited feeling. Zhou Feng now put all of his power into the left eye and set the target on Zhou Kun. Not one realized that, at this moment, Zhou Feng's left eye gave off a faint green glow. Shush! Zhou Feng felt like he had gone into supervision mode. In his vision, Zhou Kun's body was enlarged, and every change, including his breathing rate, heartbeat, the body's muscles, veins, they were all seen with his left eye. And at that moment, the world seemed to slow down by many times. However, the speed of the world didn't slow down. The change was Zhou Feng's own reaction speed. Under the pressure, Zhou Feng's heart felt extremely peaceful and calm. His opponent, Zhou Kun, got an unknown shiver and had a feeling as if all of his secrets had been seen. Third change of the poisonous snake. Zhou Kun had a face full of dimness and used his strongest strike without hesitation. His body was like a poisonous snake, and like lightning, had both extreme speed and power. Shush! In a flash, Zhou Kun's two fingers were together, and like a poisonous snake's teeth, slashed through the air as they stabbed towards Zhou Feng. So fast! Many of the sect's disciples thought. Many youths of the two NDS rank of the martial path did not even manage to see how Zhou Kun moved. Just as Zhou Kun's teeth like fingers were about to, to hit Zhou Feng. Pa! Suddenly, a strong fist punched through the air, hitting Zhou Kun's arm, making him fall. What happened? Zhou Kun felt his mind shudder as his body turned stiff due to shock, his arm turning numb. His fingers which were only half an inch away from Zhou Feng's chest, could not move forward another bit. Whoosh! Zhou Kun's stomach suddenly felt pain as he was sent flying out with a scream. What happened? All of the disciples shouted in shock. One move, you've lost. Chapter 3, Breaking Through to the Second Rank of the Martial Path One move, you've lost. Zhou Feng had an expression of shock and excitement which was hard to cover up. I won, and I won in one move. Before the battle, because of the changes in the left eye, Zhou Feng was confident that by relying on his reaction speed and vision, he would be able to block one of Zhou Kun's moves, and if used well, he could be able to block more than 10 moves. The result however, was well out of his expectations. Zhou Kun's attack was very fast for some of the bystanders, but under his left eye, all of his movements were as clear as day. And when the left eye was activated to its fullest capabilities, Zhou Feng felt that the opponent's moves seemed slow and clumsy. He was stunned because he saw faults in Zhou Kun's skill. Faults. Faults in a higher ranked martial art. Zhou Feng didn't understand it either, how could he see the opponent's faults so easily? Maybe it was because the opponent hadn't fully polished the skill. At last, Zhou Feng reacted on instinct just like how he had with the fly, 
and gave the opponent a deadly hit, which allowed him to win in one move. Hua! All the disciples on the martial arts field were shocked. Did I see wrong? The one that lost was Zhou Kun. You are right. The person who lost was Zhou Kun. All the Zhou disciples opened their eyes wide and had weird faces on. Dot. How is this possible? How could I lose to this guy? Zhou Kun had a questioning face. Yep. He lost so suddenly he didn't understand. At this time, the expressions on Zhou Feng and Zhou Kun's faces were comparable. It was by accident. When the Zhou disciples saw the expression on Zhou Kun's face, they understood. After this was said, all of them started agreeing. You are right. This kid's luck must be too good, he won by accident. His luck must be too good. The crowd agreed on the reason for Zhou Feng's victory. Luck? Maybe. Zhou Feng gave a faint smile and turned to leave. Kid. Stay there. Zhou Kun clutched his stomach as he slowly stood up before he, in a dark manner, said, Zhou Feng. You were just lucky before, that's why you won. Let's fight again. Fight again? Zhou Feng scrunched up his eyebrows and looked at Zhou Kun, firstly, you're hurt. Secondly, I don't have time. After saying this he turned towards a corner in the martial arts field and left behind a group of disciples with stunt faces. Bastard. After I'm healed, I'll perfect my 13 changes of the poisonous snake, then I'll fight you. Zhou Kun had a face of anger as he then left without another word. Looking back on the fight, Zhou Kun had his own reasons of why he lost, and there were three main reasons. Firstly, he looked down on his opponent. Secondly, he had only learned the first three moves of the 13 changes of the poisonous snake, and there were still many faults as it was yet to be perfected. Thirdly, Zhou Feng had too much luck. Dot. On the other side of the martial arts field, Zhou Feng started to practice. The reason I was able to win the last fight is mainly because Zhou Kun looked down on me too much, as well as the fact that he have yet to perfect the high ranked martial arts skill, which allowed for me to the faults. Zhou Feng knew the answer in his heart. Zhou Kun would definitely not go easy on him in the next fight and if he perfects the 13 changes of the poisonous snake's first three moves faults, then Zhou Feng doesn't have any confidence in winning again. That was because the difference between the first rank and the second rank of the martial path was too big. The martial path had nine ranks in total, the first three ranks were known as power ranks. The power ranks were about gaining more strength and increasing one's foundation. So the first rank and the second rank of the martial path had a difference of around 100 kilograms in terms of strength. That's why, under normal conditions, to be a first rank and beat the second rank of the martial path was so surprising, even more so to win by one move. The key point is still to increase my strength. Zhou Feng took a deep breath and started to practice flaming metal fist again. The first move. The second move. The third move. The flaming metal fist seemed to be as smooth as water, smoother than it had ever been. Ha! As Zhou Feng finished his moves, he had an excited look on his face. The flaming metal fist had a total of 32 moves, and he could now finish them in one breath, a much faster speed than previously, the power of the moves had also increased. After finishing the moves, he felt that his blood flowed better and faster than before, as if it was burning. At the same time, the beat coming from his left eye became even more obvious. Zhou Feng closed his eyes and his consciousness interacted with the pitch black dimension. At the center of the dimension, there was a faint green light. At first, the faint green light had a radius of around 60 centimeters, and was especially faint. Now however, the faint green light's length and brightness seemed to have increased. Could it be? Is the left eye's abilities directly linked to my own strength? Zhou Feng guessed in his heart. The changes in his left eye gave him the chance to change his destiny. Firstly, it let him be a Zhou Kun, secondly, when he practiced his moves, they became super smooth. Again. Zhou Feng's eyes became sharp as he started to practice flaming metal fist again. Hu hu hu. Zhou Feng's movement speed became faster and faster 
and the moves started to perfectly link with one another. After practicing it for the third time, the speed had already become two times faster than before, and the damage had also increased by heaps. Through his breathing, he felt his blood circulate better and the parts of his body that could not be toughened before had also started to become stronger. At this speed, I will just need a few more days to break through to the second rank of the martial path. Zhou Feng felt that his increase was very obvious. He practiced until night and then wiped his sweat and headed back towards his home. After arriving home, he still was thinking about the change in his left eye. To continue my bloodline of the eye, you will rule everyone, control every race. You lucky youngster, do not disappoint me. He remembered the voice that came from the pitch black dimension before he fainted. This I might have come from an ancient godlike existence, and in an accident, merged with my own eye. Zhou Feng assumed. Even at night, when he opened his eye, he could still see everything outside. The darkness of night had almost zero influence on Zhou Feng. His eyes still saw the birds that were a few miles away. Zhou Feng lay on his bed at night and felt his left eye releasing sizzles of heat, which merged with his blood. Under this weird feeling, Zhou Feng fell asleep. The second morning, Zhou Feng woke up extended his four limbs and went to practice in the small courtyard. This yard's too old, and the environment is bad, when I am stronger, I am definitely going to let my parents live inside a big yard. Zhou Feng thought in his heart. Quickly, he began to practice the 32 moves of the flaming metal fist. Hu hu hu! The fists carried the wind and now contained extreme power. As soon as Zhou Feng threw a few punches, he felt that something was wrong. Between his breaths, his blood was raging and gave off an aura of power, every punch contained at least 200 to 250 kilograms of force. What? Zhou Feng was shocked, and his two fists burned in two patches of red light. Ka ka ka! One of the punches hit the big tree in front of him, and a branch, as thick as a fist, snapped into pieces. No! This definitely is not the power of a first rank, could it be? Zhou Feng's heart jumped. To prove his thoughts, he took a deep breath and put all of his power into one stomp. Bang. The ground shook and the layers of earth crumbled, leaving Zhou Feng's footprint half an inch deep into the ground. His expression turned happy, then one of his palms hit a stone that was at least 30 kilograms, and broke it into pieces. This kind of power wasn't something that the first rank of the martial path could do. Second rank of the martial path. I've broken through to the second rank of the martial path. Zhou Feng closed his eyes and began to feel the power coursing through his body. He first thought that breaking through to the second rank would at least take a few days, but didn't realize that he broke through just after one night's sleep. His consciousness went inside his left eye, there, Zhou Feng found that the faint green light had now extended from around 60 centimeters to 67 centimeters. He felt that his energy was better than before and that it also had different changes which could not be explained. Chapter 4, Zhou Yijian After breaking through to the second rank of the martial path, I won't be at the bottom anymore, and I'll also have the right to participate in the family sparring contest. Zhou Feng was very excited, but soon calmed down. The martial path had nine ranks, and every rank was harder to achieve than the previous one, similar to a pyramid. Everyone knew that the first three ranks were known as the power ranks, they were also known as martial learner. Martial learners used force to strengthen their bodies to provide a strong foundation for later realms. Although martial learner were very low, as it was only considered to have entered the gateway of martial arts. To cultivate to the peak of the third rank was not to be looked down upon as one would have at least 400 kilograms of strength, those born with better talent could even have over 500 kilograms of strength. They could rip apart tigers and destroy bears with their bare hands. Although Zhou Feng had only broken through to the second rank, he had around 250 to 300 kilograms of strength, which was well outside the capabilities of normal people. If it was accompanied by strong martial skills, tens of normal people wouldn't even be able to reach him. If I can reach the third rank of the martial path, and have around 350 to 400 kilograms of strength, 
my overall strength will at least double. Zhou Feng thought in his heart. Of course, the thing that he yearned for was the fourth rank of the martial path. The fourth to sixth rank of the martial path were known as the accumulation ranks, they were also known as martial artists, those who were real martial artists. After entering this realm, the martial artist wouldn't just have a strong body and blood. They could also strengthen their organs and use the power of inner strength, which surpassed that of pure muscle attacks. Once they reached martial artist, they would leave the realms of mundane people and enter a higher level. Back at Greenleaf Village, Zhou Feng had the urge to become a true martial artist, and entering the Zhou sect had made this dream come one step closer. Dot. After he entered the second rank of the martial path, Zhou Feng immediately told his parents. Second rank of the martial path. His father Zhou Tian Yang and his mother Zhou Shi were both surprised but let out deep breaths. As Zhou Feng was able to reach the second rank at this age without the use of outside help, his talent could be said to be better than some people. All you have to do next for the next two months is to prepare for the family sparring contest. We do not need you to do extremely well, just do not lose face. Zhou Tian Yang revealed a happy smile. Zhou Shi also had a pleased smile. For Zhou Feng to reach this step, they were very pleased and did not have higher expectations. However, Zhou Feng's target wasn't restricted to just this. He wanted to become a true martial artist, maybe even reach the pinnacle of martial arts. After breaking through to the second rank, my status within the sect is now higher and I have the right to enter the first floor of the martial arts library. The sect's martial arts library contained many different martial arts skills. Thinking about this, Zhou Feng immediately went towards the martial arts library. Brother Feng. Halfway, a slightly shocked voice from a girl stopped him. The young girl's voice had a familiar sound and felt comfortable to listen to. Zhou Feng's body turned stiff. From his side came a boy and girl whose ages weren't very old. The male was purple clothed, had thick eyebrows, a straight tall back and sharpness in his eyes. His cultivation had reached the peak of the third rank, the other disciples around them felt the pressure he emitted. He is the sect's third ranking disciple of the outer disciple Zhou Yijian. The people around them exclaimed, with faces full of worry and fear. The one that came with Zhou Yijian was a young woman wearing white, whose age was the same as Zhou Feng, around 13 or 14, she had a clear beautiful face. Little Sister Zhu Zhou Feng looked at the white-clothed girl and his mouth subconsciously curled into a mocking smile. The girl in front of him was the one who entered the sect with him half a year ago, Zhou Zhu. Back at Greenleaf Village, Zhou Zhu was a huge fan of his. However, after they entered the Zhou sect they became distant from one another, they were almost total strangers now. After Zhou Zhu entered the Zhou sect, using her beauty, she quickly became good friends with Zhou Yijian who was ranked third of the Outer Disciples, and then, by using her connections, she achieved the second of the martial path half a month ago. At this moment, Zhou Zhu said something to Zhou Yijian. Okay, but just do not take too long. Zhou Yijian nodded his head and leaned aside, not even bothering to look at Zhou Feng. Zhou Zhu walked in front of Zhou Feng and, in a complex manner, and with a little sigh, said, Brother Feng, you have finally broken through to the second rank. However, Xwer is going to give you some advice, do not be too stubborn. After entering the sect, I have realized that the place we started at is too low compared to the ones here. What do you want to say? Zhou Feng broke off her sentence and responded with a cold face. Zhou Zhu had a bit of anger of her face, but she still bit her teeth and said, Brother Feng, Xwer is going to advise you one more time. Go to Brother Yijian and pledge yourself to him. With his help, only then will you merge with the main Zhou sect, that way you can avoid problems. Pledge? Zhou Feng made a cold laugh. He won't pledge to anyone in his whole life. Zhou Yijian had a cold aura and was extremely arrogant. Every time he saw Zhou Feng, it was with his nostrils, as if he was too high up compared to him. Seeing Zhou Feng's expression, Zhou Zhu immediately knew. As they grew up together she understood Zhou Feng very well. 
Zhou Su walked back to Zhou Yijian's side and murmured something. HMPH. He doesn't know what's good for him, this useless garbage. Zhou Yijian said in a cold voice. Useless garbage? Zhou Feng's eyebrows scrunched. Maybe it because he saw Zhou Feng so unwilling, but Zhou Yijian took a pause and coldly said, I've heard that you're the genius of Greenleaf Village. However, at the Zhou sect, you're just a little bug. We'll meet at the family sparring contest and I'll beat you in just one move. Just like what I would say, we'll meet at the contest. Zhou Feng spat bitterly and then turned towards the martial arts library. He didn't want to keep on talking, since they were bound to fight two months later, and the one with greater strength would win. As Zhou Zhu's eyesight passed by Zhou Feng, it flashed ever so slightly. At this point, she felt a strange feeling from Zhou Feng. A feeling that she couldn't understand. He sure thinks he's good. Zhou Yijian snorted. He didn't even think of Zhou Feng as a serious opponent. At the sex at her disciples, those that had entered the third rank of the martial path didn't exceed 60 people, and to rank third out of these. It could be seen that he had some great skills up his sleeve. Zhou Zhu gave off a deep sigh in her heart, Zhou Feng was just finding trouble for himself. Zhou Su understood Zhou Yijian's strength very well. Some of the third ranks couldn't even block one move of his. Dot. After a while, Zhou Feng came to the sex important grounds, the martial arts library. The martial arts library was very important to the sect, and therefore had elders guarding it. Branch Disciple? The white clothed elder inside the martial arts library looked at Zhou Feng's identity plate, and scrunched up his eyebrows. Great Elder. Zhou Feng had a polite face on, he knew the Elder's strength. From his left eye, he felt a mysterious force coming from the Elder. It was a layer of red aura, which was between their blood and skin, but was constantly moving through their veins, and could attack at any time. It could also attack through the air and crush metal into powder. Zhou Feng knew that the white clothed Elders had already cultivated inner strength to a high degree it could destroy 100 of him in an instant. Only those that were at the fourth rank of the martial path or higher could have inner strength. Zhou Zhu, Zhou Kun, these martial learners wouldn't have inner strength. Zhou Feng took a bow and said, Elder, I want to go into the second floor of the martial arts library. Achieving the second rank at 14 years of age is average. However, before you become an inner disciple, I must tell you that branch disciples and main disciples have different treatments in the martial arts library. The white-robed elder said. When Zhou Feng heard this, he paused a second, but then thought about the new rules of the sect and immediately understood. Elder, please go on. Zhou Feng knew that before having absolute power, he didn't have any right to discuss the rules. The white-clothed elder said with an expressionless face. Those with the second rank of the martial path can only enter the first floor of the martial arts library. The first floor of the martial arts library have a lot of low-ranked martial arts, and a few middle-ranked ones. Main sect disciples can choose two middle-ranked martial arts, or four low-ranked martial arts and max, and the limit for borrowing these is two months. Side branch disciples can only choose one middle-ranked martial art, or two low-ranked martial arts and the time limit is one month. After listening to the rules, Zhou Feng took a deep breath and said, This junior understands. The branch disciples had only half of the quantity and time compared to the main branch disciples. Okay. You can go in now, but the time limit is half an hour. Under the white-robed elder's guidance, Zhou Feng slowly stepped into the martial arts library, a place he dreamed of coming to. Chapter 5 Choosing Martial Arts Skills, 1. The Martial Arts Library was an important ground in the sect, it had a collection of different martial skills collected over hundreds of years. They were used to help those of the later generation hoping that they could expand the family. Usually, a sect's number and quality of martial arts determine how strong the sect would be. Zhou Feng remembered that at the Greenleaf Village Zhou family, there wasn't even a martial arts library. The martial arts library was divided into three floors. In the first floor there was a large quantity of martial arts, 
but most of them were low-ranked, with a few middle-ranked ones there as well. The second floor apparently had the sex secret and traditional techniques. Most of them were of the high rank, there were even some peak-ranked ones there. However, to enter the second floor one needed one to be at least at the fourth rank of the martial path. And the third floor was just a rumor, as it had never been opened. However, for Zhou Feng, the second and third floors were just too far away, even the first floor's martial arts were something that he yearned for. He had no background in the sect, and a person with no background or exceptional talent could not access higher ranked martial arts. The flaming metal fists he had was only a core rank martial art, and it was even weaker than a low ranked martial art. However, after breaking through to the second rank of the martial path, he had the right to enter the first floor and choose a martial art. The Zhou sect, it is no wonder that it is one of the three big families of the Sun Feather City, which rides on top of several hundreds of other families. Zhou Feng stepped into the first floor, his breathing quickening. At the first floor, he could see a few other Zhou disciples, but all of them were using their time to choose their own martial arts skills. According to the rules, those that entered the martial arts library only had half an hour to select. So everyone that entered the martial arts library didn't waste any time. I've got half an hour and I need to choose a middle rank martial art, or two low ranked martial arts. Zhou Feng took a deep breath, and scanned along the bookshelves. The first floor of the martial arts library had several thousand books, and every book was half an inch thick. To find one or two martial arts from such a high amount was not easy. Rock Breaking Bomb, Anger Dragon Fist, Leaf Picking Sword, Wind Like Foot. Different kinds of martial arts skills made Zhou Feng's eyes turn colorful. Shua. Shua. Zhou Feng flipped the pages of these martial arts skills quickly to the first page. These martial arts usually had their summaries on the first page. Crazy Ring Blade Blade Like the Wind powerful like lightning, uses speed to win. Minimum requirement is first rank of the martial path, to train this skill is average. Rank, low. Angered dragon fists can increase the strength of the cultivator, can put all the power into one attack. Minimum requirement is second rank of the martial path, to train this skill is quite hard. Rank, beak of the middle rank. Wind like foot a close combat skill which uses speed to win. When trained to fullest potential, can fight against many people and not lose. Minimum requirements is first rank of the martial path, but needs high level of understanding. Rank, middle. Metal sand, increases the defense of the body. Under fully activation can go head to head with same rank opponent. Someone who can train it to a high level can use their body and fight against swords and blades. Minimum requirements is second rank of the martial path and needs high willpower. Rank, middle. Dot. The martial arts library skills are stronger than the core ranked skills by far, just as expected. Zhang Feng was extremely pleased, and the skills he saw were mainly middle rank ones. After only looking through tens of books, his heart had already been moved several times. However, the martial arts library had restrictions. He could only take out one middle rank martial art. If I could only take out a few then that would be great. Zhou Feng felt unwilling and thought it was unfair, branch disciples can only choose one middle martial art whereas the main disciples can choose two. To increase his speed in choosing, Zhou Feng started to use his left eye. With his left eye, his speed increased more than ten times. Shua 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 Zhou Feng's left eye used an incredible speed to look through these martial arts. He only needed one look to understand it all. Looking at over 30 books, Zhou Feng fully memorized the contents of them and compared them with one another. When he had scanned over 50, Zhou Feng suddenly realized something. Not right. Zhou Feng suddenly froze. He went back to his memories of other books. In his mind the contents of the books appeared and not a single word was wrong. This. Zhou Feng felt himself tremble with excitement. After merging with the left eye, Zhou Feng's memory had increased as well, it could be said that he only needed to look at something once and would never forget it. Especially when he activated his left eye, the contents of the books were as if they were burned into his mind. 
Zhou Feng never thought that he would achieve the power of never forgetting. There were many rumors about geniuses on Azure Flower Continent, and never forgetting was one of the attributes they had. However, never forgetting for most people was that their memory was good, they only needed to read it once and would remember 80 to 90% of the contents. However, compared with Zhou Feng's never forgetting, his was clearly much stronger, he was literally not able to forget. With this power, at the martial arts library, it meant that Zhou Feng could take a few more books out. Fast, fast, fast. Zhou Feng had a look of excitement and started to memorize all the books he could. Shua Shua Shua. His concentration was put to max as he flipped through the pages as soon as he read them. As long as the contents were looked at by his left eye, it didn't matter if it was words or drawings, he memorized all of them. It only took Zhou Feng 20 breaths of time to fully remember a book with 50 pages. Ha ha ha. Never forget. Good. Zhou Feng felt nice, but he seemed more insane as he ripped through the books. His actions obviously caused some of the other disciples to look over. I think this guy's gone crazy. Maybe it is his first time going in and he is too excited. Some of the disciples looked at Zhou Feng's actions and shook their heads. Time passed by in a flash. Three quarters of half an hour had already passed. Who? Zhou Feng let out a long breath. He felt tired, but it still couldn't stop the excitement in him. At this point, he had stolen over 100 books of martial arts. These martial arts were mainly middle-ranked martial arts. It included fist skills, palm skills, sword skills, breathing skills, footwork skills, defense skills and many more. Because Zhou Feng kept on using his left eye, his mind became tired. Next. Zhou Feng's left eye scanned around the area and landed upon an old martial art book. The reason why he stopped here was because Zhou Feng felt that the materials this book was made of were different from the rest. Zhou Feng picked up this book and on the top were three words, Lightly Floating Fairy. He flipped to the first page. Lightly Floating Fairy High Rank Martial Art, can make the cultivator move through the snow without leaving marks can drift across the river and make the person feel like a bird. When trained high enough, the person can double jump and even fly for short moments. Minimum requirements is second rank of the martial path and to train in this skill is very hard. In addition, inner strength will increase the force. Achieving the highest realm will let a person be the quickest out of everyone under the seventh rank of the martial path. Zhou Fengfist thought that this was just an ordinary footwork skill, but after he saw a double jump, and added with inner strength, his eyes twinkled. Double jump exceeded the limits of middle rank martial arts, even some high ranked ones cannot do that. In addition, inner strength meant that this skill was suited for martial artists above or at the fourth rank of the martial path. And the most incredible part was, Achieving the highest realm will allow the person to have the fastest speed of all under the seventh rank of the martial path. What an exaggeration! Even some peak rank martial arts won't have the courage to say this. Zhou Feng's eyes shone and without hesitation, he started reading the contents of Lightly Floating Fairy. He had a question in his heart though, why would such a strong skill be put at the bottom floor? And why would no one learn it? Soon, Zhou Feng found the reason. After flipping to one quarter of the book, the words started to blur out. The main reason was that the book was too old, and the book started to mold. That meant that this book only had one quarter of its original contents. So unfortunate. Zhou Feng was severely disappointed. However, he did not give up and continued to use his left eye on the blurred out words. Using all of his power on his left eye, Zhou Feng could just about see the words under the mold, this already exceeded a normal human eyesight by at least 20 to 30 times. After reading one to two pages, Zhou Feng felt his mind go tired and his left eye felt as if there was no power left in it. If I take this back I can slowly read all of its later contents. Zhou Feng thought up to here, and then took lightly floating fairy out of the first floor of the martial arts library. Lightly floating fairy? You want this book? The white-robed elder asked with scrunched eyebrows. Yes. Zhou Feng politely said. 
This book has been around for a thousand years and there are parts in it which exceed high rank martial arts by far. After talking up to here, the white robed elder's voice turned, however, only one quarter of this book can be seen. An important note, to fully train this in skill is super hard, even some geniuses cannot do it. Even if they do it. Under the fourth rank of the martial path, the potential is restricted. At last, the white robed elder warned, I'd advise you to change a book, or else you will never break through to the fourth rank of the martial path and become a true martial artist. Thank you elder for your warning, but my heart is decided. Zhou Feng had a calm look on his face. Looking at the Zhou Feng leaf, the white robed elder shook his head and said, these youths nowadays all take the highest ranked book possible. He believed that Zhou Feng would not be able to fully learn lightly floating fairy, and taking a step back, even if he could, what could a partially martial art book do? Leaving the martial arts library, Zhou Feng returned home. Sitting on his bed, he closed his eyes, and on inside of his mind the contents of around 100 martial art books quickly surfaced. Chapter 6 Choosing Martial Arts Skills, 2. Having such a big supply of martial arts gave Zhou Feng endless excitement. He couldn't hold in his happiness and laughed with his head raised. Quite a period of time passed until he calmed down. In cloud country, a middle rank martial arts skill was worth a couple hundreds of silver, and the money Zhou Feng received per month was only 10 silver. Of course he couldn't take the sex skills out and sell them, if he did he would get punished, they would destroy his cultivation and then kick him out of the sect. Zhou Feng took a hundred books out from the martial arts library, most of them were high class and all of them had at least a past person train it so he could use their experience. However, to choose a few martial arts skills from these books wasn't easy. It was good that all of these books were fully imprinted in his mind because he only needed one thought to compare them against one another and choose the one most suitable for him. A single martial art could increase his strength, with the combination of many martial arts, it could increase his cultivation. Zhou Feng only used half an hour to choose four skills from the hundred books. They were Lightly Floating Fairy, Angry Dragon Fists, Air Pushing Breathing Technique, and Continuous Meteorite Arrows. Lightly floating fairy was definitely the highest rank skill out of them all, and Zhou Feng had a high chance of solving the missing words out after all. After that came angry dragon fists and air pushing breathing technique, these skills also compensated with one another. Angry dragon fists was one of the peak books of the middle rank, and the damage dealt by it was high. It compressed one's strength all into one and the power was so incredible that it wasn't weaker than some of the higher ranked martial arts. Zhou Feng had high expectations for angry dragon fists because it increased one's body strength. Strong body strength was the foundation and minimum requirements for martial path inner strength. Martial path inner strength was something that made someone a true martial artist. Air pushing breathing technique was also a peak middle rank martial art. It increased one body strength, blood and body. When trained to a high level there was a chance to understand martial path inner strength. Angry dragon fists and air pushing breathing technique worked perfectly well together, and when used together the power of it is at least comparable to higher ranked martial arts, and there was an increase in chance to understand martial path inner strength. Zhou Feng was overjoyed in his heart. As for the last one, continuous meteorite arrows, it was a skill close to high rank. Why did he choose a narrow skill? This was because it worked well with Zhou Feng's left eye. If I do not learn a narrow skill, then I'd be sorry for my left eye. Zhou Feng had a smile curl upon his lips. It could be imagined, that with his left eye's abilities, he'd be a natural godly archer, and if he perfected the arrow's skill. After choosing the martial arts skills, Zhou Feng started to cultivate. He first started with the air pushing breathing technique. A strong body and blood was the foundation of cultivation. The stronger one's blood was, the damage from angry dragon fists is at close combat would be stronger. Closing his eyes, Zhou Feng mind entered the contents of air pushing breathing technique. A while later, his body's blood started to move slowly. This easy? Zhou Feng was shocked. According to the contents of air pushing breathing technique, 
most people that could move their blood needed at least 4 to 5 days, or even up to 10 to 15 days. Could it be that I am a genius? Zhou Feng thought a bit, and then disagreed with himself. Because if he was a genius, then it wouldn't have been so hard for him to break into the second rank of the martial path. He realized that after merging with his mysterious left eye, his mind's energy had increased. His reaction speed, understanding and analyzing speed all now exceeded that of normal people. When he was learning the air-pushing breathing technique, a bebe sound came from Zhou Feng's eyes. At the same time, in the pitch black dimension, the 67 centimeters radius faint, green light was spinning at an increased rate. Half a day later, Zhou Feng had trained the air pushing breathing technique to the first level and his body gave off a faint disgusting smell of sweat. He felt that his body's strength had become stronger by 30%. I did it! Zhou Feng felt somewhat incredible. Air pushing breathing technique was divided into three levels, and once one trained to the peak of the third level, there was a chance to under martial path inner strength. After another half day, Zhou Feng had already trained air pushing breathing technique to the peak of the first level and it was then the speed started slowing down. He changed his mind and started training in angry dragon fists which paired up with air pushing breathing technique. As expected, with the foundation of air pushing breathing technique the speed of learning angry dragon fists was very fast. In only half a day's time, Zhou Feng learned all of the 81 moves to a beginning level. Angry Dragon Fists had extreme power, especially when used with air pushing breathing technique, the exploding strength was incredible. Zhou Feng secretly clicked his tongue. The most surprising part was that after learning Angry Dragon Fists, the air pushing breathing technique broke through to the second level and even went a bit further. The two skills accompanying each other had an incredible effect. No wonder they're perfect for each other. Zhou Feng laughed in his heart. For the next four to five days, Zhou Feng kept on learning angry dragon fists and air pushing breathing pushing technique, and both of the skills trained at an incredible speed. At this time, Zhou Feng's cultivation was closing to the peak of the second rank of the martial path. Just a bit longer and I can reach the peak of the second rank. Then the third rank won't be far away either. Zhou Feng was full of expectations. The next day, Zhou Feng left home and headed towards the martial arts library. This was because lightly floating fairy and continuous meteorite arrows needed open space to practice. Dot. Soon, Zhou Feng arrived in a corner of the martial arts field. This was a place where they practiced with bows and arrows. Shush. An arrow left an after image in the air and shot straight into the center of the target 50 meters away. Great arrow skill. It is no wonder that brother Zhou Yui is one of the sex top 3 godly archers. This arrow could probably break straight through the defense of a third rank, and even kill muscular wild beasts. Excited shouting came from the side. Formidable. Zhou Feng just came in time and exclaimed. He knew that the youth who was called Zhou Yui was famous for being a godly archer in the sect. Shush shush shush. Zhou Yui pulled the string and shot out five to six arrows at lightning speed, which formed a ring around the center's red dot. Good. Great. The disciples around started cheering. Zhou Feng didn't pay any more attention because he felt that if he tried, he could also become a godly archer. He went to an open space and picked up a random bow. He then squinted his eyes, as if he was aiming. As soon as he picked up the bow the disciples around the field focused on him. Look! Who's that? He looks new. A disciple saw him and his eyes shone. Hey hey, this kid is called Zhou Feng and he came from a branch sect half a year ago. Not long ago, I heard that he offended Zhou Yijian who is ranked third amongst the outer disciples. I also heard that his girl even left him now. There were some though who recognized Zhou Feng. Branch family disciple? Let us take a bet and see how many rings he can hit. A few disciples looked mockingly at Zhou Feng. Even the goldly archer Zhou Yui was disturbed by this. Arrow skills needs talent and integrity. It is not something anyone who wants to learn it can learn. Zhou Yui was arrogant and faintly looked at Zhou Feng. Zhou Feng did not bother with these people. 
he barely used his left eye and a target 50 meters away and his vision became bigger and bigger. Shush! The arrow string trembled and the arrow flew through the air, barely landing on the target but then fell off onto the ground. It floated. Zhou Feng started sweating as this was his first time using a bow. Ha ha ha! The disciples around the field raised their heads and laughed. Again. Zhou Feng was calm. Missing on the first arrow was normal. Next, he used more energy on his left arrow and merged the continuous meteorite arrow skill into his heart. Shush! The second arrow went straight to the target and was one ring away from the middle. Ninth ring. The field turned silent. Those that were laughing had their faces freeze. Eva Zhou Yui's eyebrows pushed together. Ninth ring, this was already very close to the center. To shoot 50 meters away and hit this was even good for some old archers. Luck. This must be luck. You are right. A beginner cannot shoot this accurately. His first arrow did not even hit the target. The disciples started laughing again and looked at Zhou Feng. However, just before they finished their words the third arrow shot through the air. Shoosh! The arrow shot out like lighting and hit the target. Ta! Dead center. The field turned silent once more. Eva Zhou Yui was shocked. They all had faces of confusion and stood there frozen. My luck is not bad. Zhou Feng gave a little smile. His lips curled once again into a smile as it was proven that he had an exceptional talent for the bow. Luck? What's up with this guy? Most of the archers had queer faces on. Any archer was a beginner from the start. However, it was their first time seeing someone with such luck. Kid, take another shot. A few disciples said unwillingly. Yes, take another shot. Most of them had excited looks on and started shouting. Zhou Feng wanted to leave, but these people were unwilling to let him leave. There were a few disciples that were the third rank of the martial path, and most here were older than him. Fine. Zhou Feng shrugged his shoulders and then picked up the bow again. Chapter 7, Luck Again? Helpless, Zhou Feng picked up the bow again and slowly pulled the string. Looks at this kid's stance. It is obvious that he is a newbie. HMPH. If he hits the center this time, I will write my name backwards. The archers on the field had excited faces and looked down upon Zhou Feng. The person in the crowd who had the highest skill was Zhou Yui. He had a face full of confidence. Archery skills are only improved by shooting infinite times. Only then will you become a peak archer. His words made those archers around not in agreement. Zhou Feng squinted his eyes, but did not use his left eye this time. If he used his left eye, it would obviously hit dead center. Zhou Feng decided to go low-key, so he just barely used his left eye. At the same time, the continuous meteorite arrow's skill in his mind merged into his heart and became a part of him. Every part of Zhou Feng's body, even his breathing, started to have a small change. These changes weren't watched closely by the people. However, being an exceptional archer, Zhou Yui's eyes flashed. Shush! The bow shot out an arrow that whipped through the air, and like a meteorite, landed on the target. Dead center. Another tenth ring. Zhou Feng had a wronged expression. This time he didn't even fully use his left eye, but only the skills of continuous meteorite arrows. He thought that it was hard to get a good result, but did not know that he would still hit dead center. Ah! He shook his head and sighed. His actions made the disciples' faces go tense. Another dead center, what is this guy? He's got two dead centers now, how can someone be so lucky? These archers had confused expressions and were unwilling to believe. Okay, I have finished shooting, I am going to go now. Zhou Feng patted his clothes, then put down his bow and got ready to leave. Looking at his back, all the archers around felt angry. Kid! Stop right there! A cold voice came from behind. Zhou Feng stopped his footsteps and turned around. The person who called him was Zhou Yui. Zhou Yui had a face full of anger and his third rank of the martial path made the people around him feel pressure. Zhou Yui was 17 to 18 years old. 
the fact that he had higher cultivation, third rank, and was also bigger in size than Zhou Feng added some ferocity. I have already shot my arrow, what else do you want me to do? Although Zhou Yui was strong, and Zhou Feng didn't have any confidence in winning, however, it did not mean he was scared of him. You are still acting. Zhou Feng snorted, you are not a beginner, you are just here to play us. After this was said, the archers around him all came to a realization and nodded in agreement. No wonder this kid had so much luck, he was just a tiger pretending to be a pig. HMPH, this guy dares to play us. The disciples around believed Zhou Yui's words and started shouting at Zhou Feng with angry faces. Calm down everyone, this was indeed my first time shooting. Zhou Feng shook his head, he really wasn't a tiger pretending to be a pig. To get such a good result was not something that he expected. Zhou Yui stared at him and twinkled his eyes, even I got tricked by the first two arrows. However, the third arrow. Your hand stance has obviously reached a high level. To shoot 50 meters and hit the center twice in a row. What kind of beginner has this kind of luck? He had reason for his words. It did not matter if Zhou Feng had 100 mouths, because he still wouldn't be able to explain. What do you guys want? Zhou Feng's face turned cold, if he could not explain then there was no point in explaining. Ha ha kiddo, you have the nerve to play us. So we're not gonna let you leave so easily. The disciples around all touched their fists and more and more people came crowding over. Dot. Sister Yufi, that place seems popular, let us go over and see. Some of the sex girls were attracted by the attention given. These girls' ages were between 12 and 16. One of them wore a purple dress. She had a face as white as snow and seemed fragile, but her beauty was incomparable. Too beautiful. Who is she? One youth the same age as Zhou Feng stood dazzled and his eyes locked on to the girl. That's the sect new genius Zhou Yufi. Most of the sex disciples knew the girl's identity. She is only 14-15 years old and she is already at the peak of the third rank of the martial path. She will be at the fourth rank soon and will then become a true martial artist. This Zhou Yufi is not only pretty, but she also has exceptional talent. Some youths took back their eyesight and felt ashamed, as if they felt like they were not worthy of Zhou Yufi. Zhou Yufi wasn't only pretty, but also had a refreshing aura. She was like a flower. Eva Zhou Yui's eye shone when he saw Zhou Yufi. It's her. Zhou Feng also knew Zhou Yufi. Zhou Yufi was also a branch disciple that came over half a year ago. She had the same cultivation as Zhou Yijian, but she was younger. It was hard to believe that someone from the branch family, under the resources she had, could achieve such a realm. Maybe, this was a genius. Some things couldn't happen to normal people. For a genius however, they could with ease. When Zhou Feng previously saw Zhou Yufi, he thought that she was beautiful. Being a normal youth of the same age, it was hard not to be attracted. However, at that time, Zhou Feng knew that with his cultivation and status, he and Zhou Yufei were two people from different worlds. Seeing Zhou Yufei come over, Zhou Yui went over to warmly greet her. Zhou Feng was composed, and looked straight at Zhou Yufei. If it was before, and Zhou Feng was in front of this beautiful girl genius, he would think of himself as unworthy and would even be scared to look her in the eye. Today however, he looked straight at her. When he looked at her, Zhou Feng's left eye subconsciously started to move. Through his left eye, Zhou Yufei's stunning figure was even clearer than before. Yi. Through this, Zhou Feng was shocked. Slowly, Zhou Yufei's clothes started to fade and he almost saw the snow white skin inside. Obviously, his left eye did not have see through abilities. Even if it did, it would be incredibly weak. It was only because he had supervision that he could see things more clearly. The difference was that normal people's vision stayed on something far away, whereas Zhou Feng's vision could pull it closer and look at it under zero distance. That is why there was a certain see through effect. At this time, Zhou Feng's left eye was pushed to its full capabilities and inside the pitch black dimension, the faint green glow spun faster. Suddenly, 
Zhou Yufei's clothes completely disappeared, even her body was almost fully see-through. Zhou Feng's left eye saw her blood circulating, he even saw the faint purple aura inside her veins. Zhou Yufei's talent is so strong. She is going to have martial path in her strength soon. Zhou Feng was very surprised by this and took a long breath. In terms of age, she was only older than him by a year, but she had already had achievements of some height. At the Azure Flower Continent, most of the martial learners stayed in the third rank of the martial path forever as they were unable to understand martial path inner strength and become fourth rankers. Zhou Yufei however, at the age of 14 to 15 had almost completely understood the concept of martial path inner strength. The days until she becomes a true martial artist were not far away. My left eye does not have a fully see-through ability, but I can still sense the blood and inner strength of those I look at. Zhou Feng's eye jumped and this was the conclusion he gave after some thought. At this time, the key focus, Zhou Yufei seemed to feel something and looked towards Zhou Feng. Zhou Feng did not hide but closed the ability of his left eye. Zhou Yufei felt weird inside her heart as she a feeling of being stripped and having all her secrets seen. What happened here? Zhou Yufei took back her gaze and asked. Little sister Yufei, this is what happened. Zhou Yui and the others exaggerated the whole incident. I see. Zhou Yufei looked at Zhou Feng. Zhou Feng knew that under these conditions he would not be able to explain. Kid. Because of your past actions, you have caused a crowd outrage. I will give you a chance to apologize to everyone. Zhou Yui said arrogantly. Apologize? I did not do anything wrong so why would I need to apologize? Zhou Feng clicked his tongue. If you apologize to us, then we will let this pass. Zhou Yui said like a gentleman. He was obviously going to perform well in front of this beauty. Apologize? Not possible. Zhou Feng said, everything you said before was just what you thought yourselves. When he said this, everyone, even including Zhou Yufei, pushed their eyebrows together. This Zhou Feng is a bit too arrogant. Zhou Yufei now had a bad impression of Zhou Feng. You can argue well can't you? Zhou Yui laughed instead of getting angry. If you do not apologize, then do not think that you will be able to leave. The disciples around started to close in on Zhou Feng. Using more to fight less? Zhou Feng had a face of mockery and glanced at Zhou Yufei. Zhou Yui and his cronies all had their faces change. In front of this genius and beautiful girl, they would obviously act as gentlemen, and using more to beat up less was not very good looking. Fine. Zhou Yui's eyes twirled and had a trick up his heart, we won't use more to beat less. You won't need to apologize, but only if you can beat me in arrow skills. That's right. Since you're both archers, use your strength to talk. Little sister Yufei can be the judge. Everyone agreed and started shouting. Zhou Yui laughed in his heart, this was like shooting two birds with one arrow. Through an arrow contest, he could make Zhou Feng apologize and not lose demeanor. He could also show off his skills in front of Zhou Yufei, maybe even win her heart. Archery skills contest? Zhou Feng felt it was helpless to say any more, fine, we talk with our strengths. Chapter 8 Overpowered Archery Skills Zhou Feng had caused a crowd outrage, so he did not even bother to explain what happened. Good. At least you have some guts. Zhou Yui was so happy since his plan succeeded this easily. He first thought that Zhou Feng would fight back and need some encouragement, he didn't know that he would accept it so easily. And when Zhou Feng lost, all he needed to do was apologize, that left some space for him to back down. Little sister Yufei, how about you be the judge? Zhou Yui said as he smiled at Zhou Yufei. In terms of talent and cultivation, Zhou Yufei was one of the top in the crowd, so she had the right to judge. Okay. Zhou Yufei nodded her head, but did not show much interest. In her opinion, Zhou Yui was ranked third for archery so Zhou Feng could not beat him. Soon, the field had an open space. The people who wanted to watch had increased to 30 people. We have little sister Yufei here today, 
so Zhou Yui is obviously going to use all of his skills. All the archers were full of anticipation. Everyone had no doubt that Zhou Yui was going to win. Instead of a contest, this would rather be a performance by Zhou Yui. Come. Zhou Yui called some youths over and they carried four targets over. Soon, the four targets were arranged in a straight line, place in front of him. Every target had a distance of 10 meters between them. Since there are so many people here today, I will show off my special move Continuous Eagle Arrows. Zhou Yui had a face full of smiles. Continuous Eagle Arrows? The disciples around all had excited faces on. Even Zhou Yufai showed a little interest. In front of the crowd, Zhou Yui walked in front of the four targets. Since there were four targets arranged in a straight line, using normal archery skills they could only hit the one at the front. Zhou Yui took a deep breath and took out four arrows at once. Is he going to? Everyone was in shock. At this time, Zhou Yui's bow was pulled to the max, which formed a full moon that faced upwards. Four arrows were all placed on the string. See. Everyone took a cold breath. At that moment. Shush. 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 Dash. Four arrows rode through the air, formed four perfect arcs, and like eagles, pounced towards their targets. Pa. 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 Almost at the same time, the four arrows hit the dead center on the four targets. Oh my god. Everyone screamed at the sight. So arrows can be shot this way. They do not have to fly straight, they can curve. And due to gravity, they will fall on their targets. Zhou Feng's left eye recorded the routes perfectly. The end result made his heart shook. Continuous eagle arrows. It took a long time before everyone finally calmed down. What high level of archery skill? Zhou Yufai's eyes showed some shock. Thanks for watching. Zhou Yui saw Zhou Yufai's reaction and laughed to himself. Kid. It is your turn. After Zhou Yui finished, all of their gazes turned towards Zhou Feng with eyes full of mockery. No one believed that Zhou Feng's archery skill would compare to Zhou Yui's. Hmm. Let me think a bit. Zhou Feng picked up a bow and in his mind. Continuous meteorite arrows once again merged with his heart. He analyzed that for him to beat Zhou Yui was impossible, unless he had an extra few days of time. So he couldn't use normal ways to beat Zhou Yui. Zhou Feng's eyes scanned across the skies and then over the archery field as he decided on what he was going to do. Okay, I am going to start now. Zhou Feng slowly took out an arrow. The first arrow. He pulled back an arrow and shot carelessly into the sky. What is this guy doing? Everyone paused. However, just at this time, a sound came from the sky. Ba a black shadow dropped from the sky. Everyone's eyes turned wide because it was an eagle. This kid's archery skills aren't bad since he can shoot down the birds from the sky so easily. HMPH. Just little tricks. Zhou Yui had a face of disdain. Indeed, although Zhou Feng did good, it was nothing compared to his continuous eagle arrows. Bing! Bing! Zhou Feng shot out two more arrows. Every arrow he shot killed a bird. Kid! Do not show off your crappy skills, just hurry up and admit defeat. One archer said impatiently. Mm, my hand feels it is good now. Zhou Feng did not bother with him because he found the feeling just then. Right after, he took a deep breath, and used all of his power on his left eye. At that moment, his left eye glowed faint green. Shush! Another arrow shot through the skies, fast as lightning. Ta! From the sky dropped another black shadow. Zhou Yui laughed coldly but did not speak. Oh my god! This arrow shot down two birds! An archer exclaimed. Zhou Yui heard that and looked over. Indeed there were two birds there. One arrow, two birds. Zhou Yui's heart leapt, he never thought that Zhou Feng had such high archery skills. Even Zhou Yui did not have much confidence in this, it depended on luck for him. The sparrow's body is small and flies super fast. To shoot one arrow and kill both sparrows is on par with Zhou Yui's continuous eagle arrows. One archer said. 
This is just an appetizer. Zhou Feng gave a faint smile. The crowd's heart leapt. Could Zhou Feng still have higher skills? Zhou Feng did not explain, but slowly lifted his bow and shot at a target 50 meters away. What does this mean? No one understood what that meant. 50 meters was 100 steps. To shoot a target 100 steps away, even the center, was nowhere near able to be compared with continuous eagle arrows or one arrow, two birds. Shush! Zhou Feng's arrows sliced through the air and landed on the target 50 meters out. Bing! The arrow didn't even hit the center, it only hit the outer edges. Zhou Feng wiped his sweat and let out a long breath. Ha ha ha! This arrow almost missed the target. The disciples all started laughing. Zhou Yui also laughed. Did Zhou Feng accidentally miss? However, when they looked at Zhou Feng, he had a face full of confidence. Being the judge, Zhou Yufei also had a questioning face. She felt that Zhou Feng's arrow wasn't as easy as it looked. You go over and look. Zhou Feng said full of confidence. The crowd walked over to see the arrow. On the outer edges of a target lay an arrow, it still trembled. Zhou Feng made an archer to pull the arrow. Everyone stared at the arrow. Soon, the arrowhead was pulled out. At the arrowhead was a pea-sized dead body with traces of blood. What is this? Oh my god! This is a fly! A fly! One of the disciples screamed, shocked. What? Many archer's eyeballs almost pop out from shock. Oh my god! To have a hundred step difference and kill a fly, how did he do this? To see a fly one hundred steps away is already so hard, the fly also flies randomly. How? How is this possible? Zhou Yui's face turned white and stared at the fly's body, as if his soul was lost. If he was lucky he would be able to shoot two birds with one arrow, but to kill a fly from a hundred steps away was impossible for him. The fly was too small. Normal people could not even see the fly from a hundred steps away. The archery contest ended here. The winner was decided. The winner of this archery contest is Zhou Feng. Zhou Yufei quickly recovered from the shock and looked complexly at Zhou Feng. This was her first time seriously sizing up Zhou Feng. The youth she saw was confident and had an appeal that surpassed many people of the same age. I can lead now, no? Zhou Feng walked towards the outside. The crowd automatically opened a path for him. Most people in the archery field learned how to shoot arrows. Zhou Feng's archery skills subdued them, even Zhou Yui could not say anything. After he walked out of the archery field, Zhou Feng let out a long breath. Today's archery session benefited him a lot. As soon as Zhou Feng walked out of the archery field. Ha ha ha! Zhou Feng, I finally found you. A cruel laughter sounded in front of him. As soon as the words finished, three youths blocked Zhou Feng's way. The youth at the front had thick eyebrows and had a face of success. It was Zhou Kun. Little bastard, last time I lost to you. This time however I am going to make you lose and beg for forgiveness. Zhou Kun licked his lips and his eyes had a certain amount of deadliness in them. This time he was going to beat Zhou Feng fair and square, and also humiliate him. Only because he lost to Zhou Feng in one move last time and felt humiliated. Zhou Feng found that the two helpers Zhou Kun brought were both at the second rank of the martial path and were there to stop him from escaping. Sister Yufei, that Zhou Feng seems to have some trouble. One of the girls at Zhou Yufei's side said. At this time. Most of the people from the archery field found the change that occurred here. Zhou Yui had a gloating expression on his face. However, in front of these matters, Zhou Feng felt no fear and swiftly said, Make your move. Chapter 9, Beak of the Second Rank Make your move. Zhou Kun felt like he had heard wrong, was this the same Zhou Feng as before? Yi. The moment his vision landed on Zhou Feng, his express changed. No wonder you're so confident. It looks like you've broken through to the second rank of the martial path. However, if that's all you've got, then you'd better start begging for forgiveness now. 
Zhou Kun felt a little surprised by Zhou Feng's second rank of the martial path, but it didn't affect his plans. That was because Zhou Feng had reached the second rank not long ago, and Zhou Kun himself had reached the peak of the second rank a year or two ago. He also had higher ranked martial arts skills. Please stop chattering, my time is limited. Zhou Feng coldly said. Kid. Don't be arrogant. Zhou Kun suddenly turned his four limbs and body into a weird stance, and like a poisonous snake, bit towards Zhou Feng. In a flash, Zhou Kun's used his thirteen changes of the poisonous snake. In terms of speed and power, it far exceeded that of Zhou Feng. Zhou Kun has probably already trained the thirteen changes of the poisonous snake to a low level. On the archery field, Zhou Yufei had a moved and slightly shocked face. Being one of the sect's genius, she obviously had major support from the sect and so, naturally, had access to higher rank martial arts skills. The higher the rank of a skill was, the harder it was to train in it. Once a higher rank skill had been trained to the low level, the power would be stronger than when one trained a middle ranked skill to a high level. What speed? The damage is at least 50% higher than before. Zhou Feng was also surprised by Zhou Kun but his left eye's reaction speed could still see the route of Zhou Kun's move. Angry Dragon Flipping the River Zhou Feng shouted aloud and stomped both feet downwards. Under the air-pushing breathing technique, he put his power into both of his arms. Zhou Kun suddenly realized that the opponent's power was rapidly increased. And then he became more shocked as Zhou Feng put even more power into Angry Dragon Flipping the River. The third stance of Angry Dragon Fists, Angry Dragon Flipping the Rivers. At that moment, Zhou Feng was like a dragon as his fists punched downwards. Ba the first punch made Zhou Kun's body shudder and almost caused him to spit out blood. His thirteen changes of the poisonous snake was about cunningness and flexibility. Its forte wasn't in fighting straight on. Zhou Feng's fists however felt like they knew where he was going to move and always hit his weak spots. Ba ba ba. Using air pushing breathing technique, Zhou Feng had already trained Angry Dragon flipping the river to a high degree. Ah! Zhou Kun was hit by the outstanding power and landed on the ground, kneeling. His arms felt numb and blood was leaking from his mouth. You've lost. Zhou Feng exited the fighting ring. As they fought, Zhou Feng had used his left eye and clearly saw Zhou Kun's attacking routes. He had also seen some errors in Zhou Kun's higher rank martial art, which meant that it was yet to be perfected. Zhou Feng felt that angry dragon fists and air pushing breathing technique coordinated together to an unimaginable degree, it could already beat some third rank people. How is this possible? My skill is a higher rank one. Zhou Kun crawled on the ground and screamed. The whole fight only lasted for two breaths. One move. Zhou Kun lost. The disciples in the archery field looked on in shock. Although they had the same rank, to win in one move was too exaggerating, especially when the loser had used a high rank skill. As she sent Zhou Feng away with her eyes, Zhou Yufei murmured, I know angry dragon fists, it's a powerful move within the sect and could be comparable to high ranked skills, but it is very hard to learn. I think he also trains in another skill and use it with angry dragon fists which allowed the power to almost double. Sister Yufi, how did Zhou Kun lose when his cultivation and skill were both higher? A girl next to her asked. Moves are dead, but people are alive. Zhou Kun's use of the 13 changes of the poisonous snake was extremely bad and he has only learned the first three moves, which is far off from his older brother Zhou Gan. Also, his battle consciousness is nowhere near that of Zhou Feng's. Zhou Yufei then paused for a bit before she said, Also, Zhou Feng has learned two skills that are very close to being high ranked ones, and trained them to a very high level. Under the usage of these two skills, his strength exceeded that of Zhou Kun. After the girl listened to Zhou Yufei's analysis, she exclaimed, Zhou Feng is so strong. Ha <laughs> ha! Apparently Zhou Kun's brother Zhou Gan is ranked fifth amongst the outer disciples. We just do not know if he will help his brother take revenge. Dot. So much trouble. Zhou Feng shook his head and left the martial arts field, later on he arrived at an open forest in the sect. 
he came here to train in the most mysterious footwork skill, Lightly Floating Fairy. Lightly Floating Fairy was, without a doubt, the skill with the highest rank amongst those he had. The problem was that it was partially ruined and was very hard to learn. When angry dragon fists and air pushing breathing technique are used together the damage is awesome. I just do not know how lightly floating fairy will be. Zhou Feng was full of expectations. The same day, he started to ponder about lightly floating fairy. When he concentrated, the faint green glow inside his left eye's pitch black dimension spun faster and faster. Zhou Feng felt that although some of lightly floating fairy's moves were burned into his mind, which made it easier for him to understand, it was not as simple to learn as angry dragon fists or air pushing breathing technique. Lightly floating fairy is harder to learn than a peak middle ranked skill by at least two to three times. This was the conclusion given after he compared the skills. Although it was hard, it did not stump him. Zhou Feng only used two to three days to understand the first one quarter of a light floating fairy at a beginner standard. He only used six days to achieve the beginning level. Normal skills had four ranks that depended on how well trained one was in it. These were, beginner, low, high and peak level. Beginner level equaled 30% of the max skill. Low level equaled 50%. High level equaled 70%. Peak level equaled 90% or higher. Like Angry Dragon Fists, Zhou Feng easily trained it to high level. Lightly Floating Fairy had also been trained to beginner level in the same amount of time, but it was only the first one corner of the skill. Su. Zhou Feng's body flashed, his body as light as a bird as he floated 4 to 5 meters on air. Dang. Dang. His feet pushed off the branches and felt fabulous as he flew. At that moment, Zhou Feng was like a bird that happily flew through the forest. I have only trained lightly floating fairy to the beginner level, but the speed of it far surpasses most middle ranked skills that have been trained to a high level. It could be seen that lightly floating fairy far exceeded most high ranked martial arts skills. When there was extra time, Zhou Feng did not forget to slowly decipher the rest of the book. Now he had deciphered one third of the last three quarters. AKA, another quarter of it. The only problem was that it took a lot of mental energy to do so. This meant that half of Lightly Floating Fairy could now be learned. After Lightly Floating Fairy reached a beginner level, Zhou Feng started to train in Angry Dragon Fists and Air Pushing Breathing Technique again. This was because, although Lightly Floating Fairy was a high rank martial arts skill, it only helped with his footwork and didn't increase his cultivation much. After training in a high rank skill such as Lightly Floating Fairy and then going back to training Angry Dragon Fists and Air Pushing Breathing Technique, Zhou Feng felt that it had become easier and smoother. After two days, Air Pushing Breathing Technique had broken through to the third level. Angry Dragon Fists had reached the peak level. At this time, Zhou Feng closed his eyes and felt the power that coursed through his body. His strength was stronger than when he first reached the second rank by more than 50%. Inside his left eye's dimension, the faint green glow radius had extended from 67 centimeters to 98 centimeters. It looks like my cultivation has reached the peak of the second rank. I just need one more step to break through into the third rank. Zhou Feng took a deep breath and controlled his excitement. It had only been half a month since he reached the second rank. This cultivation speed was just too surprising. The thing that made him most surprised was that the air pushing breathing technique as it reached the third level. Once air pushing breathing technique reached the peak of the third level there was a chance to understand martial path inner strength and that was the key point for becoming a true martial artist. Zhou Feng never thought that he would reach the third level of air pushing breathing technique this fast. This made his strength far surpass the others who were also at the second rank. He could now be compared to a third rank. By only using half a month, Zhou Feng's strength had doubled. All of this was due to the mysterious eye. Zhou Feng believed that his once normal destiny was changing. That night, Zhou Feng started to set his life goals. His first goal was to perform well at the family sparring contest one and a half month later. 
At that time he would fairly and squarely beat Ish Oyejian and spar with the true genius of Sun Feather City. The change in my left eye allows for me to have a high level of understanding, and the only thing stopping me from becoming a genius in the sect is cultivation resources. Zhou Feng analyzed. Since he merged with his left eye, his mental energy and analysis speed had increased. He also became more calm. The only problem was, how to gain cultivation resources. Zhou Feng's cultivation speed was fast, but it was still hard to break past the peak of the second rank. However, if he had enough resources, this barrier could be easily broken through. Got it. Zhou Feng's eyes twinkled and soon he had an idea. His lips curled into a confident smile. Chapter 10, Sky Cloud Forest Night Inside a fancy building at the Zhou sect. Elder brother. You've got to help me. Zhou Feng made me lose face and he is just a lowly branch disciple. Zhou Kun bit his teeth and said with murderous intent. He had lost twice in a row to a branch disciple, he did not have the face to leave his house. Trash. Inside the room sat a slim, leopard-like, short-haired youth. This was Zhou Kun's older brother, Zhou Gan. Elder brother, I am begging you. You have got to help me. Zhou Kun was full of fear and hatred. He was afraid of his brother. Ever since he was born, Zhou Gan had bullied him. He felt useless as Zhou Gan was always better than him at everything. Zhou Gan had now reached the peak of the third rank of the martial path and had already trained the thirteen changes of the poisonous snake to the sixth change, which allowed for him to rank top five out of the outer sect disciples. Even three or five of Zhou Kun weren't his brother's opponent. Dot. The morning of the second day. Zhou Feng got out of bed early and started to practice angry dragon fists and air pushing breathing technique. These two martial art skills were the ones that Zhou Feng mainly trained in. I still have some way until I reach the third rank of the martial path. Zhou Feng practiced for half an hour and acted on yesterday's plans, walking towards the money room of the sect. According to the rules, Zhou Feng could get 10 pieces of silver per month. I haven't taken this month's money yet. Zhou Feng soon arrived at the money room. Zhou Feng, second rank of the martial path, branch disciple, monthly money of 20 silver. The accountant said expressionlessly. 20 pieces of silver? Zhou Feng took over the money and exchanged his thanks. After reaching the second rank, his monthly allowance had doubled. Although a monthly allowance of 20 silver could let a whole family eat and sleep without worrying, it was nothing for martial artists. Some expensive cultivation resources that could increase one's cultivation speed and help break through realms easily exceeded thousands of pieces of silver. Any of the resources rich disciples ate casually exceeded 30 years of normal disciples' allowances. 20 pieces of silver. Zhou Feng took a deep breath and holding his silver left the Zhou sect's territory and headed towards the market of Sunfeather City. He used to give the money he got to his parents to help them out. This time, however, he did not do that. Instead he took the silver and left. Soon after, Zhou Feng stepped into Sunfeather's city's largest market. A weapons shop in the city. Shopkeeper, how much is this heavy metal bow? Zhou Feng finally decided after taking a long time. This heavy metal bow is extremely powerful. It can shoot up to 150 meters. 20 pieces of silver, no bargaining. The shopkeeper said as he smiled. He had seen the Zhou sect symbol on Zhou Feng's clothes. At Sun Feather City, the Zhou sect, Q sect, and the Sin sect were the three largest families and had total dominance within the city. 20 pieces of silver? Zhou Feng crossed his eyebrow and deeply said, can it be a little cheaper? The shopkeeper smiled faintly, fine, I will give you the lowest price, 18 pieces of silver. 15. I am low on money, but when I get more I will double the money and give it to you. Zhou Feng said with honesty. 15 pieces? That's probably a bit low, there is almost no profit. The shopkeeper seemed to have a little difficulty, but maybe seeing the honesty in Zhou Feng's eyes, he bit his lips. Fine, hopefully you keep your promise because this shop is also under the Zhou sect's territory. 
Thank you. Zhou Feng said gratefully. He never realized that this shop was under the Zhou sect. Soon, Zhou Feng bought the bow at a price of 15 silver and also bought some arrows and food. Now, Zhou Feng had no money left. Hopefully it won't fail. Zhou Feng murmured to himself and soon left Sunfeather City. Dang! As soon as he left Sunfeather City, Zhou Feng used lightly floating ferry to move. His speed was even faster than most normal horses. Two hours later, Zhou Feng finally arrived at his destination, the Sky Cloud Forest. Sky Cloud Forest was the county of Cloud's biggest forest. Its area even spanned across over ten other countries. Being the largest forest of the surrounding countries, Sky Cloud Forest had many dangerous wild beasts, and near the center of it there were high-level deadly beasts. Deadly beasts were far stronger than wild beasts. They had been affected by spiritual energy, and had therefore slowly changed into powerful beings. A few strong deadly beasts could easily destroy a village. Only true martial artists could fight them. Zhou Feng came to the Sky Cloud Forest, obviously not to try finding deadly beasts as he still wanted to live. His goal was simple, hunting to earn money. Some strong wild beasts inside the Sky Cloud Forest had expensive furs and other materials. E.G., a fully grown bear could sell for two to three hundred silver. However, a fully grown bear's strength far exceed normal second rankers. Only third rankers could win against it. Obviously, Zhou Feng's target wasn't a bear or a large-sized wild beast. Although large-sized wild beasts are worth a lot of money, their mass is too big. I cannot carry many back and forth. Zhou Feng had already made his plans. Dang! His body was like a feather as he used the branches to propel himself forward. Soon, Zhou Feng landed on top of a hundred meter tall tree. This tree was higher than its surroundings, giving Zhou Feng dominant vision. If he hadn't learnt lightly floating fairy then being at this height would make his heart beat rapidly. As he stood on the tree, Zhou Feng used his left eye to survey his surroundings. Shua! That moment, his left eye went into supervision mode. Everything within five or six miles was clearly seen by him. Zhou Feng first had to confirm whether there were any dangerous wild or deadly beasts around. Soon Zhou Feng understood the situation within five to six miles. There were twenty beasts that threatened him, and only one of them were close to him. Luckily, there weren't any deadly beasts. I am starting now. Zhou Feng took a deep breath then slowly pulled out his heavy metal bow. Shu. As the bowstring trembled, the arrow hit a golden spotted snake 100 meters away. See. The golden spotted snake jumped up and spat out snake language in a fearsome manner. However, Zhou Feng's arrow skills were perfect, and directly hit its vitalities. The golden spotted snake thrashed slightly but soon died. Golden striped snake, super poisonous beasts that can threaten even third drinkers. Zhou Feng slightly let out a breath and wiped his sweat. If they were fighting straight on, the golden striped snake had a high chance of kill him as it was extremely fast and poisonous. However, Zhou Feng had also gained a lot. The golden striped snake's teeth and liver parts were extremely expensive. After killing the golden striped snake, Zhou Feng used his left eye to find new targets. Shu Dash. Suddenly, Zhou Feng heard a screech in midair. A metal mouthed eagle, with a wingspan of one meter, easily killed a wolf that was of the second rank. Zhou Feng had a solemn face. The metal mouthed eagle was called Metal Becking Eagle, and was extremely famous in the sky cloud forest. Its strength easily exceeded that of normal second rankers and flew freely in the air. It almost had no natural enemies. Metal Becking Eagles are extremely fast. Its feathers and defense are also strong. It is almost a deadly beast. One would be worth seven to eight hundred pieces of silver. Zhou Feng thought as he used his left eye to target the metal becking eagle. This time, he took out an arrow coated with poison. Zhi. The heavy metal bow was soon pulled to the max, 